Every year, the Irish Cultural Center in downtown Phoenix hosts the St. Patrick's Day Parade and Fair. It's a day full of laughter and merriment and gives an opportunity for locals to experience Irish culture. Mary Moriarty, the treasurer and fair chairperson for the St. Patrick's Day Parade and Fair, talked a little bit about the different attractions at the festival. It's basically to celebrate St. Patrick's Day with the Valley of the Sun and we fence in the whole west side of Margaret T. Hamps Park, uh, including the Irish Cultural Center and the Cleland Library. And we had three stages of Irish music and dance. We had a kid's stage. We had pouncies. Um, we had phenomenal amount of food, uh, crafters, commercial vendors, and not to forget liquid libation. So it's basically a big party in the park. In addition to attracting large crowds, the event also attracts vendors from around the valley who are eager to sell their goods. One of the vendors, In Your Face Sweets, sold St. Patrick's Day themed desserts. The two sisters who run the bakery gave insight into how they made their creative treats along with how they run their business. For these, this particular event, you know, being that it's the St. Patrick's Day Festival, it was really easy to come up with the beer cupcake, the beer couple, um, and just make everything as green and gold as possible. <laughs> we don't have a storefront yet, so um, basically we do festivals like this or birthday parties, things like that. So these were all made especially for this. We try to um, you know, get our ideas around what event we're going to, you know, whose birthday party age and stuff like that. So everything's done a uh, special order. My favorite one is honestly the marshmallows. That's my favorite. My favorite is probably the cookies. The Irish Cultural Center also shares authentic Irish traditions at the fair. Chaz Moore, the executive director of the Irish Cultural Learning Foundation, talked about how St. Patrick's Day became such a popular holiday and how people can learn more about their heritage at this event. Life in Ireland for years has always been uh, uh, immigration and the, and the fact that you have to immigrate to find work has always been a way of life. And even though that's very sad, um, everybody always says that everybody wants to be Irish on St. Patrick's Day. So we encourage everybody to just be Irish for a day and come down here and help us celebrate. Uh, the favorite part about St. Patrick's Day and the fair and what we're doing here at the Irish Cultural Center is to see the smiles on everybody's faces. It seems like almost everybody in the world is celebrating St. Patrick's Day, but to come down here and see what people really feel and they see that connection, and a lot of times it will inspire them to go further, come back and do their genealogy, check out some of the great books we have, get involved as members. Now there's so much going on here that everybody should come down at some time or another because we have this saying in a t-shirt where we have a family tree and there's a couple green spots in there. If you start doing your genealogy and go far, far enough back, you're probably going to find somebody in your family who might be Irish, who might have lived in Ireland at one time or another. And you'd be surprised with the families, how many of them are, are multicultural, multi-ethnic. The St. Patrick's Day Fair is a great way for people of all ages to learn more about Irish culture and celebrate the holiday. The next fair will be on March 16, 2019, but the Cultural Center hosts events throughout the entire year. This has been Megan Marples reporting in Phoenix for the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism.